Well, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Now, we are getting stuck into Surviving the Aftermath, all DLC. I've played a couple of hours and I am so excited. I'm, I'm loving it so far. Now, we're not going to make it too crazily difficult because it's my first ever full playthrough. Um, I've obviously tested and learned a few things, so we'll go with that. Catastrophes, common catastrophes we'll go for, um, balance between fertile and barren, and we'll also, we're basically aiming for 100% difficulty. Uh, we'll start with some survivors here, oh, difficulty 75. Aim for progress and technology, trust on basic survival skills. Now during this uh, playthrough, if you do have tips, please do add them down in the comments because I am more than happy to accept them. I am pretty good at builder games um, and games of, of similar like survival and things, but it is something that I'm interested in if you if you want to pop them down in the comments. So take care and protect the people. That's what we're going with. Now we are going to pick, we want one fighter to start with, I think. You get two, don't you? We are going to pick Mr. Fritz and we are going to get a scientist i think so what i'm gonna do on the world map what i've been messing about with is i think you need research quite early on so my second one is going to be a scientist and then we're going to hope for a scavenger yeah we'll get kate she's cool little flag or oh, we know what colors come in here and we are going to go with we're, we're quite nice so we're going with that alexandria yes i like the walking dead that's what we're going with <laughs> colony motto never conquered always feared divide and conquer for a better tomorrow that's what we're going with and let's do this so that's all our settings right there if anyone wants to carry on the map seed is right there as well okay here we go oh desolate land now what i do like about this is it gives you kind of hold your hand a little bit doesn't it so we gotta build the campsite and then shoot the flare which is awesome so we're gonna just pick a nice spot for it have a little look around our map so we got lucky. There is water nearby. So I, my last save, there wasn't any water close by to actually pump from. So that's awesome. Um, I'm seeing plastics and food around here. I'm going to keep the main camp probably about here. All right, we'll get that one built. And then we can kind of look at the roads and stuff once we're done. So that's fine. And we'll get the colonists in. We'll start to build the tents and things. It is... I'm intrigued on how we're going to do it, really, because I know I know no right and wrong other than getting started. So that's going to be good fun to go with it. So let's speed this up. Right, that is done then. And we will start to get our stockpiles and things in as well. I don't think we can do the roads just yet. So we'll pick a spot. Now, oh, there's a lot of wood over here. And I think because of the trees here, we want the, the farming and stuff to be over there, I think. So we're going to go... Something like this. Obviously, this can get moved around, and we'll grab a food storage next to it as well. And then we'll get our tents in. So I'm thinking tents. First lot. Let's go. Boom. Boom. We'll pop them there. They don't cost anything. Let's uh, move our work area here. And I know that you can make this bigger. I did learn this, so I'm very happy about that. We can grab as much wood as we can on that. And then food will do the same as well. Looks like there's three berry spots here. I might be able to squeeze that fourth in. Oh, there's four there. So let's squeeze those in right there. Perfect. And then that's pretty much it, isn't it? We'll get our water collector. These. This is why I was saying it's kind of ideal that we have this, isn't it? We can probably get away with popping it right there. Look, right close to the colony as well. So we are pretty damn good. So we are going to shoot the flare now um, because there's not a lot we can do until we do that. And then we'll work on getting ourselves a bunch of plastic. I'm really excited though. I absolutely... Like, you know when you just start a game and you're like, yeah, this is great fun. Because the world map and stuff is awesome. Right, let's slow it down a second. We've got colonists now. So we can effectively start to get our roads in. So I'm going to just bring this to here for a minute. I'm going to do the same for these guys. And then we'll kind of put something around this, just as like a, I don't know, a little starting point, you know. I don't want to go too weird, but let's just do that for now. These guys should start collecting. We've got six carriers here. I've been going over this, and I think you always need to have carriers available to get work done. So don't overdo your buildings too early, if that makes sense. So we are going to go straight into here. You don't start with any, but I'm just going to go through what I'm probably going to start with. So we want to get to these types of things. It does my head in that you, it doesn't disappear after you've hovered over it, though. That really annoys me. But we want to get across to the line cooks quite early. 
and obviously the metal scavenging. Um, what else do we have here? Water pipes is a good one, and then education. Yeah, that's a huge one. And then other than that, we're pretty good. Now, like I said, we've got all the DLC, but I've only just recently purchased the Shatter Shattered Hope. I wasn't going to do that one because I heard it was a bit rubbish, but you know what? We're going to go with the full experience. That's not good. Big Blight core right there, but it's fine. So we are, I think, we need to build the gate, don't we? So that's where everything needs to get done. Once this gate's built, we can do the world map, and that's where it kind of opens up massively, isn't it? So let's see what we've got here. So there isn't really... Have we got spare rooms? So we don't have any shelter space. It's probably a good idea that we get another tent on the go, which I'll do, just in case colonists arrive, and we'll keep bringing this along here. Um, what else do we want to do? So this is going round. Once this bush is gone, we'll have a proper road covering this section. So we'll have the camp there, nothing next to it. And we will, I don't think, so we've got six carriers. I reckon we could probably get away with some certain things, but I am going to go straight away and get an outhouse in. Now, I am aware that these are quite important, so we'll pop one of those in. I don't think we have the plastic just yet to do that. We have a little bit, and then we have the gate that we want to get up as soon as possible as well. So that is... 190 and 175 but what i'll do is we will pause that one up just whilst they collect and we'll speed it up get a little bit done all right we're going to get our recycler down that's what i needed wasn't it so this is going to get us some plastic um i think we don't want to go too close to the houses i do want semi-industrial kind of going out this way so i think i'm going to pop it right there we're going to put our road out i won't be playing the whole game in fast by the way i'm just doing it at the beginning all right, recycler is ready, so we are going to slow it down a tiny bit, and we're going to encompass... Well, we'll just go big. I don't think we can... Yeah, we'll just grab these two for now. Make sure we've got two people in there, because we're going to need that nice and early. All right, so I think... Correct me if I'm wrong. This is how it works. You have the collectors that will go out and do all this bit, so you need them spare, and then... Or is it these guys that will go and grab it as well? Not too sure either way, but I am going to unpause the gate now. Because they, they can start loading it up. Now we've got enough wood. We just need a bit more plastic. And we should be good to go on that one. Not quite sure why these guys are saying homeless. Because... Hold on. Oh, we only have nine shelter space. That's awkward. Right, let's get another tent. Put this over here. So I'm going to go blocks of four. I think. That's what we're going to do. And I've just realized I need a path over to the water as well. So we are going to bring this down here. And I'm going to go something like... Let's go just like that for now. That should be fine. And there we are. Several construction zones. What do we have? Stranger has appeared in the colony. Colonists are taken aback as an unfamiliar face appears in the middle of the colony. Lower your weapons. I'm no intruder. Yeah, we'll take them. We'll take we'll take three more. Perfect. The Stray Sisters. We will be loving that. So are we going to need another tent now? We are going to need another tent. That's absolutely fine. And what we're going to do is blocks, I think, will go out yeah. Should be fine. I'm not going to put a road to this one, I don't think. I don't think... Because when I go to the shanties and stuff, I want to make sure I've got enough room for it. So we'll get that done as well and see how this one's doing. That just needs a bit more plastic. So we just need work popping on that. Looks like we're about to get a little bit more. But we keep building the tents. It's obviously using plastic up. But other than that, we have our basic camp set up, don't we? And then we can work on getting to that world map. What do we have here? milestones so we've got our first settlers little town is population at 25 okay that's a little goal to work towards i love that what are we doing in the water this is giving us 14 water we will keep an eye on this oh do we need a water storage actually as well that is a great idea so clean water storage what we need to do though is because this costs 40 plastic we want the gate to be done first really how do we want i think we're going to have a main water hub anyway through here so having some water storage right here is probably a good idea let's just pause that one a second just want the gate to finish we're almost there and we will be in a massive surplus of plastic soon anyway if if my last start was anything to go by so i'm, I'm not too concerned at all i'm actually going to move the berry work area to this one so we can kind of move this out as build space uh wood depleted that is fine no problems at all we've got plenty over here anyway we've got a big big wooden couple of wooden ruins there so we are quite happy we do need to be careful by that blight core there i think our gate is about to start being constructed now it's just waiting for a builder so let's speed this up we can watch the signs come up here it's kind of a 
a big epic moment, isn't it? Absolutely love it. I just love the survival premise as well. It's it, survival plus colony builder is, is one of those, isn't it? And I've got, um, is it end zone as well? I never played that, but I did buy it in the Steam sale too. Yeah, I go a bit crazy on Steam sale. Half the time I can't even bloody play them. All right, some food appears rotten. Now we've got 97, 20. A weary colonist reports grave news. Some of the food rations appear to have gone bad. Okay, bickering about whose fault the situation quickly evolves into a different discussion. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw out the food because you get happiness. Awesome. And happiness is something we want right now. Into the new world. Lovely stuff. Right, this is where I'm going to slow it down a second. And I am... Oh, we got a milestone. So into the world. Lovely stuff. I am going to go ahead and send the scientist to the world map. And we're going to pop straight out there. So, oh, look at this. Straight away, we got some science points here to get going. Okay. So we're going to start that one. Now, that should take... So 24 hours, she'll have all of those. That's awesome. We've got some tools and some jackets. Not something we need right now. We need a good check around so it looks like we've got a pretty compact zone on the map here which is nice so we'll kind of let that happen uh we've got one person in the gate so that's fine i think they're going to be people to take in and hopefully we can get a new a new person coming here but let's have a look what do we have yes we have a scout that is perfect and no elders and look at this they bring plastic wood basic clothing iodine pills we need those for the first uh, iodine problem we are definitely going to accept that. And what I'm going to do is... Oh, there's our... We're going to need to get tents first. That's the important thing. What have we done here? Okay. So we are going to pop up some of these. Just to accommodate. I don't know how many we're going to need, actually. And I'm also going to unpause that one. Someone's got a broken bone. Oh, you know what that means. We just took them in, didn't we? We don't have the... Where's the medical? Hospital. Medical tent. Let's put our medical over here. And we will prioritize that one for now. They can be homeless for a little bit. We should be okay. All right, how many need homes? Oh, we need... That's... How many per tent? Three. So, oh, we need more. Wow. Um, <laughs> That was a, a lot straight away. So how do we want to do this? So I think we have a block of housing here too. I'm going to go those two. Just enough space for the water if we need it as well. And we're going to get all of those built. And we're going to need to put in a well. I've just noticed the water here. We need a good spot for this, don't we? It looks like we've got a pretty good spot. If I can get all 11 here. So I need a 90. There we go. Let's grab a well. If I can get one more, that would be beautiful. There's a 97 right there. I'm going to pop a well in there. And that kind of adds to where we can expand to there's a little bit of a blight issue there but that's okay so we're gonna do something like that now this isn't the be all end all of the layout we will be changing it up as we go 10 colonists are homeless no problem at all it means we've got a lot of workers and everything should get done pretty damn quickly we got our medical tent done come on there we go just about to finish up so we can we can heal our broken bones person here who is it Evelyn. Oh, I feel sorry. There you go. Get yourself healed up. There we go. You're getting yourself sorted. Done already? Right, let's get rid of that. Uh, several constructions are lacking resources. That's fine. You will get some. We're working on plastic. Deposits are running out. Issue here. That's fine. Let's check in on our wood situation here. So we got two still good over here. We'll move to this bit after. And plastic should be fine as well. And let's send Donna to the world map here. So what I love about this game is there's always so much going on. It's awesome. So we're going to use right. Donna to actually scan straight away. So I'm going to get her to scout the surrounding areas. Um, we do have 250 research points now. So what do we go with first? Schools and greenhouses. What's this? Ah, oh, this is on the new alliances. I haven't played around with this one. That's cool. We're probably going to be sensible first, though, and I am going to... Oh, we could do the bank bunk beds and just get them in crowded. Move towards that kind of thing. But I'm, I think I'm feeling getting on to... No, definitely not that. Let's go with the... Let's try and get to farming. I'm feeling. And this does mean we do have the ability to fit in 
a couple of these guys. So we are going to need firewood. We're going to need the lumberyard first. So I think this is a perfect spot for it. I don't mind losing these trees here. I'm going to leave a bit of space for the medical. And I think we'll pop it in right there. I know that that isn't the most ideal based on what we've done. But we are also going to put in the forester. So we don't want the deplete. So I think forester right here. Yeah, can we not put it there? Oh, there's a there's an issue there. Okay, that's fine. We can go right there with the forester. So forester and logger camp, and then we'll get our firewood probably around here. Let's get a bit of a road going this way. And then we'll start unlocking stuff. I will try and get rid of that as soon as possible. Uh, two colonists are homeless. We've got one more being built, so that is perfect. We probably need to get in one more spare as well, just in case. Let's get our road. Wrong one. Let's get our road going across here something about this game that just really excites me you know and i didn't want to do that one piece there so that's fine let's get rid of that and let's get maybe one more tent in here i don't want the blocks to be too big so i'm thinking maybe we leave a space for a road and we go there perfect all right i'm seeing this how long's left on the research We're almost halfway there that's perfect we will get into that for food quite early on we could do fishing we're still out of plastic, though. This one's a bit cheaper. I think food, we're going to keep this side. I know that I'm kind of working the uh, houses into that, but that's okay. So I'm going to go something like this. Let's do that. Let's bring in the road. I'm so excited. You know when you're just really excited? I'm doing Surviving Mars 2 as well, by the way. I've been playing that offline, trying to learn it. It's a little bit longer learning curve on that one. Does look like we do have some majestic deer there, though. Water shortage. Yeah, we're still building the well. Let's prioritize that one. Let's make sure they get the plastic in there. And it looks like they did get this one done really early. So we want... It doesn't... Oh, is this the... Yeah, this is the lumberyard. Why am I not getting a percentage? We don't want a big one here. I kind of want it to do maybe there for now. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a percentage on that, but that's fine. Um, once this one is then done as well, they do seem to be sharing out. I want this one to be priority, though. So at the moment, because we have 11 running around, I'm going to keep the medical tent up and running. It looks like we do need to fix this one up. What is going on here? Can I click you? Repair that one. Uh, we have made a new discovery, and we've got 400 research points, so we are going to be happy with that one. I'm not going to go straight into the farming just yet. We are going to get into... So what do I... It's kind of difficult. I think we want to get into... What is this? Shanties and stuff early. So let's get the bunk bed upgrade next. And then we'll move straight into education. I think you can queue it, can't you? You can. Perfect. And we've got something going on at the world map. Well done. Well done. Right, let's, let's scout an area here. And we also... Oh, another research. Amazing. What meds do we have? Iodine. What is this one here? 28 medicine. What I am going to do is just spend a little bit of the first days just uncovering a little bit of the map. I yeah. think I'm going to send her that way instead. Just because of the research. And then we'll go back in. Back into uh, old Alexandria here. Looks like we need a bit of repair here as well. I think we got hit by something, didn't we? And then we're good. So at the moment we only have one on the gate as well. I'm not going to mess with that too much. How's our forester doing? So that just needs... Yeah, we're, so we're just really short on plastic at the moment. And uh, we'll set a repair on that. I don't know why everything's so damaged. But that's okay. Uh, we need this water to be built terribly bad. Okay, they're going over now. Because everyone's going to start dying if we don't sort that. Little friend has been lost. Oh. A small girl approaches with watery eyes and snot running from it. Oh my god. Search for the cat. This is a waste. Of, I'm going to help her. Ooh, two colonists and ten happiness. Awesome. Okay, we'll take it. We will take it. That means we have no space again. But we are building it, so we will get there. We just desperately need that to be done. Let's get this done. Come on, guys. Doing a great job on the well. It's kind of hard to click some things sometimes. There we go. Right, we have the perfect amount of water. So let's get on top of that and let's go straight into another water collector here they are more efficient so we need to go that way let's put it 
here and we'll get a little road out to that one so we do have enough room which is perfect we can kind of use this as our thing now Ooh, bunk beds we could upgrade a tent or two just to cover us up how much does it cost pretty cheap isn't it but we're going to be moving into the other research real soon aren't we so i think education if we got enough we do have enough to get the communal living now the problem with the shanties is they cost metal so we're not going to be able to do that just yet frontier outposts outpost depot they, they bring in people don't they and then we have some other things so schools and greenhouses constant reputation trickle we're not into trading just yet so let's go into basic farming after so we'll let that do its thing and we have someone ready at the world map here all right, a little bit of a scarier one, but there is some antibiotics there. So she'll do 6 per 12 hours. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. That's going to take her a while, but she could do that. I'm going to keep her scouting, though, for now, I think. And then we'll keep this lady going over Sorry, to the research. And then we're fine. Uh, two days. We're not going to have enough money to recruit one yet. They usually cost about 700, which is fine. We'll deal with that. How's our wood situation doing? These guys are pretty empty now. Yep, almost gone. So that's fine. Education's going well. Other than that, we are looking pretty fantastic. Forester. We're going to need to get onto the firewood soon. Day four. We're fine, though. Water shortage. Amelia was born. We have a colonist being born. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm keeping a close eye on the basic clothing and stuff for happiness. We're going to need to make sure we get that. And all of these will be built soon. Trapper's going to help us with food. And this one, I think I'm going to prioritize that to build next. But we do have room for the population now. What we could do, we have the a capacity to add a second worker into our forestry here. And then once the forester is done, we'll pop that there as well. Deposit depleted. I think we've got one more wood... Oh no, it's out. It is completely out. So they did hammer through all that. So we're going to now clear up these ones. We've made a new discovery. And then education has been finished. Amazing. So we are now going to go into basic farming. And then we'll go into soil studies probably. So we can now put in a school. Must be heated during... So we do have a child now, but we don't have metal. So we can't actually build that just yet. We'll look for some metal on the map. That's the plan. She seems to be uncovering this incredibly fast. There's some food over there. I do like the hidden caches, so we might go to that. I'm tempted to grab that basic clothing and meds at some point. Let's do one more scout, and then we'll start to collect here. That'll be awesome. All right, what have we got in here? We made the little town. Nature in my backyard. Defeat 10 hostiles. We're not going to be doing that just yet. I'm just thinking what do we have here so societies we haven't found those yet so we can't do anything with that statistics i won't go through any of this yet we're too early on to worry about the management of that i think and there we go we have a nice surplus of water beautiful so we do kind of need this to be built next we'll get water storage as priority because when the lakes freeze in the winter we do need a little bit of a stash on those and it looks like our trapper is going to be finished in a moment as well all right, clean water storage has finished up. And we have now got a new quest. Let's have a read. One of the colonists, One of the colonists told, told that before friend. finding this colony, she tried to navigate using the large navigate landmarks. One of these was an old nuclear plant. Okay, there never were any symptoms that she could notice after being closed to it. Find the nuclear plants. So we'll take the quest. We probably won't do it just yet. We've had a couple of these. Colonist Mitchell is irradiated. He's straight in there anyway. And farming is about to finish up. We've hit a milestone too. That's awesome. So we're doing pretty well. We got ourselves a nice bit of farming here. So we are going to research that one next. When we get the research points, we can start it at least. And we are going to get our first field down. So that is green areas. Well, this is a really, really nice farm spot over here. But we are going to get our first one in. Now, I think we're just going to plonk it there for now. Not in any rush to get that completed. I do think we have space now for three more colonists. And it looks like we have someone ready. So she started researching and this one has been uncovered. Is that iodine pills? Yes. Okay, so that's going to take her a little bit longer to do. She's a scout, right? 
But we don't have anyone there yet. I am going to grab these pills. Um, okay. So iodine pills is when you get the first problem, isn't it? The, the quest is right here, actually. We could go and do that. But this is good. We'll grab those. We'll probably get her to scout up here afterwards and see what's about. Don't quite have the gold to buy another one, though. We just need another one to come to the gates, I think. All right, Forester. Beautiful. So... We're going to try and match it to this one. We're going to plant there. Yep, they're pretty much dead on. Perfect. And the wood is depleting, carrying on as well. And our small field has finished. Awesome. So we are going to do... We have flax, which we can't do just yet. We have corn, which is probably a good one. We have bad pollution over here, it seems. Hmm. Let's go corn for now. And we'll yield that as soon as we can. We'll keep on top of the food. It's getting a little bit low, so that's kind of ideal. And we do have our work area here. So I'm hoping we can get a big chunk of efficiency in there. Perfect. And we'll probably get a second person in there for now as we can fit them. And I think the next thing, next port of call right here is going to be the... I'll sort you out in a minute. Let's just slow it down. I'm going to grab a logging camp so the logging camp fits nicely right there and we've got the world map ready see what i mean i love it there's so much to do awesome so we have the research finished now which is great so i think we're going to go for a scout right here and then we're carrying on grabbing these iodine pills as well and once that soil studies is done I'll probably time mistime this a tiny bit, but that's okay. Um, she's pretty much finished planting anyway, so <laughs> whatever. It's for the next harvest. And let's work to potentially then. I think we'll be... I'm going to upgrade that one tent there. I do quite like the look of these ones. And our wood is depleting out, so it looks like we are finished here. So we need a new area of wood. Let's grab those. And I think we need a scout tower. So, let's uncover, because that farming was so good over here. Let's pop up a scout tower over there. Uh, logging camp has been completed as well. Awesome. So, we'll just leave one in there. We'll build a steady supply of firewood. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my God. We're going to lose the tents right here. We just got absolutely nailed. I think once they're on fire, you can't really do anything with it, can you? Is that right? Come on, guys. Run, run, run. You're all homeless. Once, I think once they're critically damaged, you can't do anything to them, right? The tents, they just burn out. Soil studies has finished, though. Right, whilst they're doing that, the crowded tent has been done, so that's good. We might need to upgrade one of these as well. So let's upgrade one more. And then what we'll do is move into a new bit of thingies here. So communal eating is the cookhouse. We don't have the water done yet. And we, we're not going to be able to do that just yet. Pavement, solar power, no. I think I'm going to go... Let's have a look here. We could go there. We're going to be on metal before long anyway. So if we go centralized repairs, and then we'll go into metal scavenging. And then that'll, that'll solidify where we can go from there. And we can build the school. Right, there's not going to be anything we can do for these. They're pretty much just going to burn out. But that's okay. We're upgrading a couple of tents. He says... We do have some shelter space. Yeah, they're, they're goners, aren't they? Oh, they managed to stop these ones, so it's just that one. And once with that one's upgraded, we should be fine then. Harry is injured. You'll be fine, mate. Just get yourself to the medi tent. Oh, here we go. So, a specialist. See, I'm going to leave that because we can't. We don't have the gold for it, do we? And there we go. Look at this. We've got a couple of crowded tents for the guys. Oh, they managed to fix them. You guys, you're so good. There we go. All right, we'll get rid of that. We have centralized repairs done. Now, centralized repairs, I don't think we want to put it down just yet because we want to keep a nice amount of carriers for the time being. But what we do need to do is focus on getting our food in, I think. So I've got two in there. We could get... This is going to uncover. This is going to leave us with such a good fishing area. I want a little bit of a gap. And I am going to put in a fishing pier. Because we could trade this. It's going to be good. We're going to trade when we can. So we'll leave a little bit of a space. So that'll be... One is a three, is it? One, two, three. And we'll go there. 
No, we won't go there. We'll go there. There we go. We'll get a fishing pier in. And I think I've got people complaining of hygiene there. No, they seem okay. Let's check in on our welfare and stuff here. Overall happiness. It's not amazing. Let's have a look at the old decorations here. Let's just slow it down. We got anything else? I don't think these help with anything. But I am going to put in some col colony banners right here. So we're going to go by the gate right there. Because why not? We have a specialist ready on the world map. And it is... Oh. Oh. Here we go. So we've got our first society here. But two research points. We've got 231 there. I'm actually going to quickly do this one. So she'll be fine. So we found Chemville. So I'm going to send her okay. to that research station. And then that one. That is perfect. So, does that mean we now have trading? So, we have first contact. Now, I haven't done trading yet. Alright, so it is new to me. Is that here? Request board. Uh, hostile population is 672. Wow. Okay. Emville. Trade, trade center is required to barter with other societies. That is fine. So, we're going to... He looks very happy. Very, very happy. That's fine. So we will work towards that. But guys, that is going to be where we end this one out. Please smash that thumbs up. And if you are new around here, consider subbing to the channel. And as always, take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one.